So how can we combine Halloween and Minecraft? So a few days ago, we speed ran a Minecraft plugin or Team Seas, and today it's Halloween. I thought it might be a cool idea to do the exact same concept, but this time for a Halloween plugin. Well, actually, kind of the main reason is actually because I again procrastinated creating this plugin until the day of Halloween itself. So yeah, here we are again creating another plugin this time for Halloween within one hour. Hopefully it isn't too bad. Here are the results. How the plugin works is quite simple I guess. First of all, we right click on another player with a trick or treat custom item and after that a trick or treat pumpkin will spawn which means it will spawn directly in front of you as well as directly in front of the player that you right click with. And then both players will need to right click their own pumpkins and after that, you can either get treated, which means you can get a reward or an item, or you can get tricked, which means a mob will spawn on you. So now, all we have to do is just put all of this into code. I am so looking forward to this. So just to give a quick rundown about what actually happened in that one hour, I guess. Uh, first of all, we have the main class, which is possibly the most important class out of all of them. Now this nothing works and then we have the item manager class which is basically where we create the trick or treat item and then we have the top manager or a short form for trick or treat manager which is basically the handling of the right clicking between players spawning in of the pumpkins as well as the deciding where to give a trick or a treat as well as uh, doing other new cosmetic stuff as well so after that, we have our particle task, which is basically spawn in our particles whenever a player right clicks their pumpkins and they are waiting for the other player to right click theirs as well. So then we have our treat manager, which is basically where we give players the different items. So we have a bunch of items here. Then we have the trick manager, which is basically to spawn in the mobs. And also, we coded in the Empire a new custom mob. Yeah. However, we'll get to tricks in a bit because uh, there are actually two more, uh, two more mobs. For example, Leaping Spider and the Necromancer. However, those might sound familiar, <laughs> and that's because they were from the custom mob videos that we created earlier. And so, since one mob sounded a bit too little so I may or may not have just copy and paste it directly in from the tutorials. <laughs> Anyways, so we are, we are not gonna count the Leaping Spire nor the Necromancer. So basically these are all that happened within that one hour of coding which is not too much I guess. Anyways let's just go ahead and take a look at how the item actually works. Alright so for the function of the plugin Basically, it's something to do with multiplayer stuff. So I've got my friend here, and if we just go ahead and right click with one of these trick or treat objects, um, these jack o' lanterns will spawn. So if we just go ahead and right click those, it would spawn in some. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, you end up being unlucky, <laughs> and and yeah, the consequences are needing to fight off these annoying vampires, I guess. Well, let's give us a while. Um, anyways, if we just go ahead and right click again, and however, if we leave it for 20 seconds, the pumpkins or the trick or treat jack o' lanterns will disappear. So, for example, if I don't right click it, it won't have these particles and it would just say trick or treat was refunded and it will give you the trick or treat back to your inventory. So, if we just go ahead and right click that again, this time if we right click it, it okay, we are extremely unlucky people we i'm just gonna use slash kill i'm not gonna waste time fighting them all over again all right there we go okay <laughs> hopefully get lucky this time and uh if we could just yeah all right we got one enchanted golden apple so that that, that, that can spawn into the inventory and we and and we got the 
it's only it's only a five percent chance. Um, if we just go ahead and do that again, and I click, there we go. We 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 got diamonds. Okay, please please don't run them. I I I don't even care anymore. And very cool. So apart from the enchanted golden apple and the diamonds that we saw just now, the trick or treat can also give us gold ingots, emeralds, and sometimes golden apples. And also a really cool one is a stack of dead bushes because um uh why not? <laughs> Anyways, apart from the rewards, there is indeed the trick and the is not something that you want to get. As just now, we got the vampire, which is only one out of three. And the other two out of three, basically the leaping spider and the necromancer, since they were stolen from other videos. So I'm just gonna play a clip from those tutorials that we created earlier here, just to give a quick visual on how they actually work. So first of all, we have the necromancer, which basically is a skeleton with full netherite armor and it just walks slowly around and spawns in mobs occasionally along with shooting these small snowballs or orb things and not sure what they're called basically they are something almost similar to the necromancer's necromancer dungeon and now for the leaping spider it's basically a spider that leaps towards you if you are too far away and once you get hit with it, will gain the wither effect. So yeah, those are the gaining two mocks. So that's that for this plugin. That's all I managed to squeeze in within that one hour. <laughs> I really need to stop procrastinating thinking about it. Anyways, that's it for today's video, I guess. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe. It will be greatly appreciated. And just a quick note, if you want to download these plugins, they are available in my Discord server. So you can go ahead and join the Discord server down below in the description. And there will be a channel specifically for the downloads of these plugins, like the Team Seeds plugin and the Halloween plugin, which I'll be posting later on. So yeah, with that all said, thank you all for watching and happy Halloween. And I will see you when I see you in the next video. Bye!